So one topic that is sometimes challenging for students in AB Calculus or BC Calculus is drawing tangent lines. So today we'll talk about how to draw tangent lines and in your book they're described in section 1.2. So now we'll draw a line that's tangent to the red function that you see. And we'll draw the tangent line at this particular spot on the function where x equals 1. The tangent line goes on the concave part of the function as Forster says and in just a minute I think you'll see what that means. So here you'll see that the red curve is the function, the purple dot is the point of tangency, and the green line is the tangent line. Some people describe it as a line that just kisses the function goodbye. Now we're going to draw another tangent line. Here you'll see an orange dot. That's going to be our point of tangency. And it's at the x-coordinate, negative 5. So at x equals negative 5, we've drawn our tangent line right here and you'll see the point of tangency right there and the line is on the concave side of the function and you'll notice that the red function just barely touches that tangent line and then kisses it goodbye and goes away on the train. Um, think about whether the slope of this tangent line is positive or negative and what that might mean about our original function. And then you might think about what the previous tangent line was in terms of its slope. Was it positive or negative? Was it close to zero? Was it far away from zero? Those are things you think about when you draw tangent lines. We can approximate the slope of this tangent line by figuring out the rise over run. So find two points that it looks like the tangent line goes through. I might pick this line right here and this line right here because they're pretty easy to approximate in terms of coordinates. This is at negative 7 comma 0 and this is at negative 4 and now I'm going to count comma negative 4.5 and you know how to calculate the slope of a tangent line. Change in y's 0 minus negative 4.5 divided by change in x which here is negative 7 minus negative 4. So I'll let you do the arithmetic and figure out the value for the slope. What you've done is drawn a tangent line to a cubic function and found the slope.